beautiful Ashburnham Golf Club. We are up here today to do a little course vlog, but I thought I'd share with you some of my own experiences of when we're around the golf course. We're gonna meet up with the pro, we're gonna meet up with the general manager, get a bit of an insight, so when you come down to visit Ashburnham, you'll have a bit of an idea on what to expect when you arrive. Tell me a little bit about the history of this place. It opened up in 1894. 1894, the uh, land was uh, bequeathed by the 5th Earl of Ashburnham, hence okay. the name Ashburnham. Right. So there's nothing else around here, okay. which is links to the name. It's pretty much the same layout as it was designed by um, J.H. Taylor. One of the great Devon boy. Devon boy, Westwood Ho. Westwood Ho, yeah. Uh, one of the great triumvirate. And it's hosted, um, back in 59, it hosted the PGA, the PGA that's Nat Wentworth. Oh really? And Di Reese won that. Reese won that one. Yeah. Uh, held it again in 69, when Bernard Gallagher won his first professional tournament. Right. And then they had the Martini, I think it was 76, and Sam Torrance won. Right. Uh, but we've got a good link there because all three of those winners are winning Ryder Cup captains. Tell me about this area behind you then, Damo. Well, this is all owned by the golf club, yeah. um, but it's a triple SI. So this is the back of the 11th tee, The 11th isn't it? tee is just over the border. It's um, a site of special scientific interest. Yeah. It's uh, owned by the, the golf club. About yeah. half the land the golf club owns is just left over to nature. Um, and last year we, we were successful in being the second golf club in Wales to gain GEO, Golf Environment Organisation accreditation, yeah. behind Royal Force Cool. So there's only four clubs now in Wales, but you know we're trying to drive the environment side and trying to be as green as we can uh, includes the golf course and um, yeah we've got a lot of land which is given over to nature because let's be honest links golf courses and most golf courses around the world in, in many respects have got a, a, a responsibility haven't they they have with the habitats around in the areas like you're talking about behind us here it's it's just part and parcel of your job on top of looking after the members and the golf club you've got to deal with this side of it as well haven't you you have yes uh, and I, I saw your recent video on when you're weak with the greenkeepers yeah and they do a great job and here as most greenkeepers they're trying to do it you know uh, without the use of chemicals the chemicals are going off the market you've got to try and do it as natural as possible and it's difficult you probably saw a few worm casts around um, you're going to see more of that because the, the chemical is not available anymore. Um, so we're doing our best um, and hopefully we can, we can keep our GEO accreditation in two years time when we're recertified. Tom, thank you very much for letting us in your fantastic workshop it's I mean pleasure. you have decked this place out like a tour van haven't you I've, I've tried my best yeah um, and like I was saying to you off camera there it's kind of like in my mind there's only one way to build a club yeah. and to, to fit people and I've just tried to bring kind of my skills over the last couple of years or last four or five years from the tour side of things into the retail environment yeah and it's had a much bigger reaction than I thought. Like when you come in, you're like, wow, I didn't realize kind of like yeah, it's decked yeah. out like this. Whereas for me, it's kind of, it's just kind of normal. It's just normal okay. <laughs> yeah, exa Absolutely. exactly. And it's, it's what I've got used to, so. And you were with TaylorMade for what, four or five years on the van? Is that what you, what yeah. you had? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I was there four or five years. Um, you know, obviously doing a lot of traveling. Yeah trying to service some of the world's best players. So I was lucky enough really where I got a lot of experience. Um, you know, pretty much been to all the major championships bar Augusta. Yeah. Um, you know, worked really on the front line of the top level, yeah. which I'm super, super grateful for. And, you know, I look back at it and even sometimes now I just can't believe that, 
you know, you're at the biggest events with the best players and you're influencing their decisions on a weekly basis, you know, yeah. and it's, uh, yeah, it's class. What would you pick out as a hole as, not necessarily the signature hole for the course, yeah. but what would be the hole that you kind of look at as that works just nicely for your eye? Uh, the fourth. The fourth. Yeah. So, I mean, I play with uh, a bit of a left to right, okay. uh, probably like five to ten yard fade yeah. if I'm hitting it well. Yeah. I don't like hitting anything left. Um, I hate kind of like starting it down the right hand side as well. So when you stand on the fourth tee, you've got a bunker on the left hand side, you've got a bunker which is kind of another 100 yards down from that bunker on the right. Yeah. And I just love hitting it really hard on that bunker on the left. Just knowing it's gonna move. Ex exactly, yeah. and just leaving it kind of like feed into the fairway and just the way in which the green has kind of almost been etched out in amongst yeah. the natural contours of the, of the land. It just really suits my eye. I, re a, I really like that. It's hole. a beautiful golf course, and and like you quite rightly said, you know the trouble around here is right. Exactly. You know you yeah. can go left all day long around this yeah. golf course yeah. if you wanted to, but having to start that ball almost at the out of bounds markers and then work it in, it's just no. it's not a nice <laughs> feeling, is it? It's really not, and it, it suits my game because, like I said, I, I love starting the ball left yeah. and working it that way. So you play all the way up to the eighth hole here. Yeah. Like you say the troubles on the right hand yeah, side yeah. you know starting it down the left and leaving it work that way yeah. even for a lot of golfers here they think oh you know it's not a slicers course and i'm like well you probably argue that it is yeah well yeah as long as you start, start it far away. Left. exactly yeah. exactly so yeah. it's um yeah 